What is up guys, the Muck Designs here, and I'm bringing you guys the um, text logo tutorial, and basically with this logo tutorial, you're going to be able to make um, your name or someone else's name out of a font and edit it like so that it flows together, and an example of that would be on my logo or my banner right now, you will see that the Muck is in a, like, it's it flows basically, it's a font that flows, so what you guys want to do is file, new, and Changes the pixels and do 1600 by 900 resolution to 200 uh, color mode to 16 16 bit and let's name this text tutorial. All right, then click OK. Let's come up with this blank um, this blank page right here. And what you want to do to get rulers is um, window no view rulers and you, these are going to come up. So basically, just drag these down until it locks in to the center. Alright, there we go. So you're gonna make a new layer and um, you're gonna click the text tool and a font that uh, you guys should use is called Vermin Vibes and I will post a link in the description um, for this um, for this font and it's basically there's four types of Vermin Vibes and um, I'm just gonna enable this tutorial alright let's make that all caps there we go then let's make that pretty big 72 alright let's put that in the middle make sure it's on the center line so that the it's perfectly even when we start to merge them together alright and I'm gonna choose a different vermin vibes style um, no let's see I'm just going to go with the first one. Alright. So basically after this, what you want to do is make this, actually I want to make it a little bit bigger. And it free transform. And I'm just going to hold shift as I drag out to make that a little bigger. Alright. Yet again, make sure it's on the line. And there we go. And after you've done this, you guys, um, you're going to come to this tutorial um, on the right side. The layer is going to be labeled whatever you named it. And you're going to right click and then rasterize type. Alright. So now you've rasterized the layer. It's no longer a text layer. And um, after you've done this, basically take the marquee tool, the square marquee tool, or pen tool around the logo if you want to. And basically just select the text. And you're going to select the T and uh, layer via cut. What this is going to do is make it a new layer. It's going to put it out into a new layer. Basically, do this for every single letter. Um, let's go back here and then cut. See, it's going to keep making these into um, new layers, and I'm just going to do this for all of them. But you have to you have to select the original path for it to work. So you have to select that and just keep doing it. And cut. This might be hard. All right. And cut. Cut. All right, guys. I've done all of the all of the letters. So now they're each individual. And after you've done that, basically, I can just delete this. Just label them, and you don't you don't have to, but I mean, it'd keep it organized if you did. I'm just gonna label these T U T. All right. So now you've want, now you've done that, and now you want them to kind of come together. So what you want to do is um, take the second uh, letter and just kind of press the left key on your keyboard and just bring it together and you can bring it together how far you want it doesn't really matter honestly and yeah just keep keep bringing these together and make sure they're on the same line again so it doesn't mess up and I'm gonna lower the opacity of this so I can see where it's going. 
All right. Take that R and just move that. Lower opacity. Take this I. The A. And DL. Alright, so uh, once you've done this, it should just look like a one big jumble of letters together. And as you can see, you can vaguely tell what it says, but if you want, you can space them out just a little bit more for it to give it some definition of what it actually says. And I'm just going to put that there and take the A. And I'm not going to actually attach the um, the A to it because if I do that, then you can't see the I. So just fidget around with it a little bit until you can perfectly do that. All right, there we go. And what you guys want to do now is um, take the Mark A tool and basically make it just make a make a rectangle preferably the same size as the space between the letters transform selection rotate 90 and just just make sure it's it's about about the same as the as the letters and basically what you want to do after that is make it I can make it negative negative 45 negative 45 degrees negative 45 degree angle and uh, I'm basically just gonna plop that down right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the U because the U is after there, and I'm just gonna hit delete. And as you can see, it's not fully like it's not really complete. So I'm just gonna edit, undo that, and I'm just gonna drag that down until you can completely take out this section of the U. There we go. And now for the T, you're going to just delete part of the T. And there we go, looks pretty good. Um, for this T, I mean this O, what you're going to do is just find the, the part of the O that you want to delete and just hit delete. And you're going to keep doing this until, oh, whoops, don't do that. Just gonna keep doing this, and then the T delete that. Basically, just keep deleting sections that you don't want to be part of the the logo that you're making. And oh, stuff like that. All right. Okay. After you've done that, the next thing you want to do is, if there's a a section like this, um. Basically, just make another mark A tool, do this all over again, and just delete the section of the R. So, there we go. And for that I, the I, I'm going to leave the I there because that looks pretty, pretty good. It's fine. And I'm going to rotate this negative 45 degrees again, negative 45. Actually, actually I'll make that positive 45, 45. All right. Now, basically, just take this part of the T off. Uh, it's actually going to be the A and the L. And all right. So basically, what I did here was I completely merged the layers. Took the T and the I took the T's, the roofs off the the size of them and basically I just I make made the made the image flow together so it looks like one like one big logo and yet again you can keep doing this you can merge you can merge them together you can drop it down you could make them exact same height you want um, it's up to you guys and um, all you have to do to make this one big thing is 
hold shift and select all the layers at once and then right click merge layers and uh, yeah guys I hope you enjoyed the tutorial please uh, like and comment if you if you enjoyed it and uh, yeah subscribe for more thanks guys